Schools in Riverside County can now apply for a waiver for in-person instruction to welcome students back to the classrooms. News Channel 3's Caitlin Thrope found out today which schools here in the Valley are applying for that waiver and how long it'll take to get one. This is our first day, so we are actually trying to get through all the kinks and <laughs> which took us quite a while. Jay Emery is the principal and also a teacher at Desert Adventist Academy, a private school in Palm Desert. He says it took his class one hour to get everyone online due to technical issues, but he's hoping that won't be the case for much longer. With issues related to online learning, he says that's even more incentive to apply for the in-class learning waiver through Riverside County. We got an email from our conference office last night saying that we could go ahead and uh, click on the link to, to apply. So we're working on it. After calling all private schools in the Coachella Valley, we learned Palm Valley School in Rancho Mirage is also applying for the waiver right now. For me personally, there are some concerns still, but I think uh, once things kind of settle down, if we can go back, you know, even for part-time, it would be great. We also reached out to all three public school districts to see if they plan to apply. Palm Springs Unified School District said there are many factors to consider and we will be working with staff and the board to determine if and when this might be appropriate for us. Coachella Valley Unified School District said at this time we are still reviewing the waiver process and determining the needs of our district. Our rigorous distance learning model will continue for now. And Desert Sands Unified School District said they will let KESQ know when and if they apply for the waiver. The county says they've already received 12 applications applications throughout Riverside County. They also say it will take one day for them to review the application. Once Dr. Cameron Kaiser approves the application, they'll go to the California Department of Public Health for review. Once approved by CDPH, schools can open for in-person learning. Yeah, I'd say probably 95 percent of my uh, families have expressed frustration by having their children at home. Uh, they'd rather have them here on, in person. And so um, they're looking, they're all looking forward to that. Caitlin Thrope, News Channel 3. Now, right now, those waivers can only be approved for elementary schools up to sixth grade. It's not clear when the state may allow waivers for seventh through twelfth grade.